Hi everybody, just a quick video today where we will look at how we can connect the worlds of Autodesk Vault Professional 2020 and Autodesk BIM 360 Docs. And in doing so, we will be better able to collaborate between both of those environments. So to get started, I'm using Autodesk Vault Professional 2020. So you can see I'm currently in the Vault Explorer and on the home screen, there's actually an entry here now um, that describes or depicts this particular interaction or this connection. For those folks that might have used Buzzsaw in the past, there was a connection that was called Project Sync 1.0. This is more Project Sync 2.0 as it gives us the ability to connect to BIM 360 docs. So the folks on Vault would be on one side, folks on BIM 360 docs would be on the other, and this is the connection we're going to walk through and um, describe how we can um, connect them together. So uh, on the Vault side, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to look at some projects, and if I expand that, I've just got a handful of sample projects in here. If we were to drill down underneath any of these projects, there's a series of folders that contain data that we may want to share with somebody either internal to our organization, or in this case, we'd like to uh, share it with them if they're using BIM 360 Docs. So we're looking at the Vault side right now. Let's take a look at the BIM 360 side. I'm going to bring up BIM 360 Docs in my Internet Explorer. I've already logged in. My hub is called Wayne Enterprises, and if I look down the list here, I've got a number of projects that have already been created in BIM 360 Docs. And when we make the connection from Vault to BIM 360 Docs, we can actually connect on a project-by-project -project basis, or in my particular case, I've set up a specific project called Vault Projects. And then underneath that, I've got a folder called Vault Data that when I sync from Vault to this environment, all of the synced files from Vault will be uh, rather than distributed across the individual projects. Instead, they'll all be in one place. So you'll see when we do the configuration, there are a lot of different options that are available. This happens to be the workflow that I'm setting up for in here today for our demo. So if we look inside BIM 360 Docs, I can see under this folder, I've got a series of projects or project folders that have been created. If I come back and look in Vault, I've got some of the same folders that exist here, depending on whether or not I've shared data previously um, prior to today. All right, the only other tool that I'm going to need to make this successful is I need to make sure if I don't have it installed already, I've installed the Autodesk Desktop Connector. When I install the Autodesk Desktop Connector, it will create a a folder or in effect kind of like a new drive on my computer. I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer here and if I scroll down under Windows Explorer you'll see on my PC I've got an entry here for BIM 360 that uh, once the desktop connector is installed it will create that new place if you will or drive for lack of a better term and underneath that will be connections to any hubs that I've been invited to. Here is my entry for uh, for Wayne Enterprises this would be what I would be able to drill into and physically make the connection that would link Vault and BIM 360 Docs. All right, so with those three things installed, let's take a look at how we can take and configure this, uh, configure the connection between them. So I'll start by going up to Tools in the Vault Explorer. I'm going to come down to, to uh, Administration and we'll go to Vault Settings. When that comes up, if you're familiar with Vault settings, you'll notice that there is a new tab here called Collaborate. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on Configure. And when we go into Configure, this is where I'm going to set up the cloud drive mapping. So I'll pick a place in Vault that's going to connect to a corresponding place out in BIM 360 Docs. I've already done this. If we hadn't had one set up already, we'd click the new box because I've already got one created. I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit, and we'll see the same dialog, except it'll already be pre-filled out. So let's go ahead and click on Edit. And when I define this, I'll give it a name. In my case, I called it BIM 360 Docs. And then I will tell it what folder that I would like to connect to on the Vault side. So what are we going to hook into on Vault? I can click the ellipsis here, and I can come down, and I can either select a particular project, or in my case, I'm going to select the root uh, folder of Vault. If you're somebody that has set this up in the past for Buzzsaw, the configuration of this portion of it will seem pretty familiar um, to what you've used in the past. So that, uh, that's okay. I'm not going to bother changing that. 
As far as the cloud drive folder where it will be connecting to, I would uh, select my ellipsis here. Um, I would grab BIM 360, and this is where, as I said, if you didn't have the desktop connector loaded, you would not have this option or this location. So that's why that's required to be able to do this. From here, I would go out to my um, hub, and then from the hub, I would select the folder in which I'd like it to go. We won't drill down and do that right now because we can see it right here. We can see it's the uh, Wayne Enterprises hub, Vault Projects. Underneath Vault Projects is a Project Files folder. Uh, and then underneath that is a folder for Vault data where all this information will go. If I come back and select Internet Explorer to bring up my BIM 360 docs, we can see my hub, Vault Projects. Here's the folder, Project Files, the next folder, Vault Data, and then corresponding folders that I'm sharing from Vault to BIM 360 docs. So let's go ahead. We'll minimize this again. Now, this will allow us to do anything we need to do. However, it will be entirely manual. If I would like to get more granular in how I set it up and maybe more automated at the times that it, uh, it will sync as opposed to me doing it manually, then we can come into this area here and we can start setting up specific sync folders based on a schedule. So for example, I could click on the plus here and say that with uh, this particular job here, um, Project ADSK, uh, I'm gonna drill down documents and select that folder I would like that to automatically sync with my uh, the vault location that's been created already. I can tell it whether it should be a push. I just want to push this information up to the cloud. I want to, when I execute, to download from the cloud, or I'd like a bi-directional sync. It'll look for changes in both places and sync them up. I can tell it to drill down and perform similar operations on um, subfolders if those exist. So we'll go ahead and say OK. It builds this one, and then I can continue to build additional ones. With this one set up, what I would do is I could uh, update it under the General tab here. This is where I would set Schedule. I could say I'd like it to do it uh, daily at uh, midnight or a particular time of day. I could say every so many hours, or I could set it to None if it's something that either I want to turn off or I'd only like to transfer things manually. The last thing that we can do is we can even, even further refine it. We can set filters such that at the particular time has elapsed, we could say filters that unless the, the files that we're going to transfer meet this criteria, it uh, either will or will not get um, transferred up to the cloud or pulled down from the cloud. So I could set by any of these settings, whether it be file name, file extension, maybe I just want to do all the document files, um, maybe file names of a particular type. Maybe we would do a lifecycle state. So if it was in a release state or a, a uh, released externally state, something that I've customized, you know, I can create my own custom attributes so that it, uh, you know, as long as it meets the requirements, then that means it will participate in the syncing. So you can get um, fairly granular and fairly specific in what it is you'd like it to do. Um, those folks, once again, thinking back to the buzzsaw days, you know, we were fairly limited by what we were able to do in this new um, Project Sync 2.0 that connects to BIM 360 docs. We can now get uh, much more sophisticated than what we were able to do before. All right, so my needs right now are just to show you the connection, not necessarily going to worry about connecting up with all of these uh, additional ones or configuring any additional ones, so I'm going to cancel out of that. We'll just do with a manual, uh, manual push and, and pull. So I'm going to close out of the configuration. And what I'm going to do is I've got a folder here. Demo is the project that I'm working with. I'm going to come down underneath Documents. And I've got a Word document here that's called Water and Waste. So it's so one version that's currently on my system. It was checked in earlier today. What I would like to do is make this available to an external person who is not connected directly to my vault, but instead is connected to BIM 360 Docs and I'd like to be able to collaborate with them or make this file available to them. So what I'm going to do is just highlight the file. I'm going to come up here and there's a button that says Upload to Cloud Drive. This allows me to perform the operation of just sending it when I would like, as opposed to waiting for a particular time or schedule. So we'll say Upload to Cloud Drive. I'll say Upload. Now this is processed using the job processor that's involved. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the job processor up. The processor is a place where different tasks are queued 
and then at a certain point in time they're released in a batch so what I'm going to do is uh, to force it to go now I'm going to pause the job processor and then say resume so it will go ahead and run and it will release that file so once that file is released it's going to transfer from this location up to the cloud so I'm going to come back uh, we'll drop out of the job processor we will come back to um, BIM 360 docs here and if we look at the data that's in BIM 360 docs if this has been successful we'll see that uh, I should have a new entry in here now that is a demo with a folder underneath it called documents and then containing that that word document so I don't see it initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here to refresh or I could hit the F5 key when it refreshes my data we'll come and expand the vault again and I see that now demo exists we'll take and expand that we'll look underneath documents and we see the wastewater or waste and wastewater document is now available we see its version date that it was upla uploaded all right, from here, um, the version of BIM 360 docs that I'm using is the uh, June of 2019 version. So if you've worked with BIM 360 in general or BIM 360 docs specifically, the uh, features are released almost on a weekly or monthly basis. I'm now able to select a Word file and uh, I can view it um, directly within BIM 360 docs without any editing software. So I can select that. So now if the person I was sharing it with, uh, if they just had access to BIM 360, they would be able to um, come in and start looking at that particular document. Now, if we were gonna collaborate, I, you know, they maybe update the file, I'd wanna bring it back into my environment. If we were gonna collaborate on this, there is also a button here within BIM 360 docs now that says edit and browser, that if I have, uh, if I'm currently leveraging the Microsoft Office 365. I can launch the Office 365 Word uh, module directly from within BIM 360. So I'm going to click on Edit and Browser. So it will automatically load the Word Online portion of that and it will give me the ability to edit the file. Once again, I'm doing this on a desktop right now through my internet browser. Um, however, if I was doing it on my iPhone or tablet, as long as I had the Office 365 app, I would also be able to perform the same edits. So we'll come into here. We'll just do something simple. I'd like to uh, just highlight this in yellow so that uh, we can quickly see that something has changed. I'm going to change uh, stormwater from one word to two. So we'll go ahead and do that. And when I'm finished making my changes, I'm going to go ahead and click on return to send it back to BIM 360. Once again, from within this environment, all the other things that I would do in Office 365 that I would have available for me to do here as well. So let's click return. That uh, will pass the file back to BIM 360 docs. And then what I should see, uh, I'm seeing it in the viewer again. I see the changes have been updated. But more importantly, I now see this V2 up here at the top. It means there's two versions of the file now. The original one that was posted and then the one that I've recently edited. So I'm going to go ahead and close the viewer. And if I look, I can see there are two versions. I can click on the V2 here. I can see, you know, who made changes at what time based on the versions. Right now there's just two. If I needed to download a prior version, I could. So it gives us a lot of visibility into, you know, whatever the current state of the file is, how we got to where things are today. So I'm going to say done. If my vault was configured to automatically bi-directionally sync or download at that time of day or that schedule, it would automatically sync that back into the vault for me automatically. Because we didn't set that up, we'll go ahead and, and pull it back manually. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll click to bring back up the uh, Vault Explorer. And to bring the file back, we see that right now there is just one version. I'm going to say Download from Cloud Drive. Asks me the connection, which we've only defined one. We'll say Next. I'm then going to drill into that folder. Here is Demo, Documents, and then here is that file we'd like to bring back. I'm going to go ahead and say Download. Uh, once again, that will require 
the job processor because it gets queued up until there are a number of files that need to come back. So I'm going to bring the processor back up, pause, and then resume. We see that now it's doing the, the manual download to bring that file back. Once the job processor is complete, I still see that there is one version, but just like in BIM 360, we've got a refresh here in the Vault Explorer. So I'm going to click on Refresh. And when we click on Refresh, we see now that there are uh, two documents here. Here is the original. Here is the most current one. We see that it was downloaded from the cloud. And um, if we were to uh, preview that file, we'll go ahead and select that. We'll give that a moment to populate. And as we look at the, the file itself, we see uh, there is the area that was identified in yellow. And if we come down, we see that stormwater is now two words instead of one. Okay, so just a quick example of whereas before we'd have two different solutions, perhaps we'd have some folks that are maybe using or, or leveraging Autodesk Vault Professional. We'd maybe have another group that's leveraging BIM 360 Docs. And what we would like to do is connect those two environments together such that one firm can either share data with folks externally or we have folks on maybe two separate solutions that are able to inter, uh, interact or collaborate in more of an automated basis rather than trying to um, extract and transfer files manually. So I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.